the tallest person to ever go in the cube. Fact fans. He's on the way at 1.50. Right after Holiday Showdown, he's going to Vegas. I know what the lace. Las Vegas is one of the United States' biggest man-made tourist destinations. The Lawsons are among an increasing number of British families who head for the bright lights, high-tech entertainment and gambling. Gambling and chocolate, I mean, what else is there, yeah? Yosemite in California is the world's oldest national park and one of the United States' most popular natural tourist destinations. The Harrison Wolfs love the wilderness and physical challenges of Yosemite. There is a big drop. Both families are up for a challenge. I enjoy challenges, so bring it on. This is quite a change from uh, a penthouse suite at the Orleans, isn't it? This is pants, isn't it? They don't know each other, but they're convinced they can show the other family a fantastic time on their favourite holiday. We're going to renew our wedding vows today. You're my husband. You're my husband. And I love you. And I love you. I just feel I've slipped into another dimension. I really do. I think a person who wouldn't like Las Vegas would have to be really stupid. Two very different families. Excess is difficult to deal with. It is, yeah. yeah. Two very different destinations. I've done the hiking up the mountains and down the mountains and up the mountains and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Holiday showdown. I'm quite glad to get the hell out of here, to be honest. Ramsgate, a traditional seaside town in the southeast of England and home to the Lawson family, Andy, Sarah and ten-year-old Adam. They're a suburban family who love all things technical. Well, I like uh, computers, consoles, swiddling around, helping my dad do the main things on the computer. Get your bets on now, please. Andy's first love is gambling and two years ago he landed his dream job as a croupier at a casino in neighbouring Margate. Finish yeah. betting now, please, thank you very much. Gambling is, is, is my passion, I suppose, and my vice, um, if you like. Um, uh, doing the job that I do now, you think I think I know better, but uh, there you go. However, this job has one drawback and is not allowed to gamble anywhere in the UK. So where better to indulge his passion than Las Vegas and his top holiday destination for the last 15 years? I think a person who wouldn't like Las Vegas would have to be really stupid. For the Lawsons, holidays are all about relaxation. Now I'm by the pool reading a book. That's my, my one and truly ideal holiday. One thing about Vegas, which is nice, they have the old uh, buffets, which is... Uh, I don't think it's not so much about, um, you know, the amount that you can eat. It's because there's so much choice and you can try different things. 200 miles away in rural Somerset is the home of the Harrison Wolf family. Rose, Aidan, 14-year-old Eleanor and Alex, who's 12. They are an outdoorsy, extreme sports-loving family, so much so that Dad, Aidan, an accountant, has even built a climbing wall on the side of their house. Holidays to them are all about setting themselves physical challenges. My ideal holiday would would be something that involved quite a lot of activity. Do you remember the pool that we swam in? Oh, yeah, it was really cold. Oh, yeah. The Harrison Wolves love Yosemite National Park in California. Yeah. I like Yosemite because it's sort of peaceful. Um, there's, I like animals and we saw a bear last time I went there. <laughs> but there is one goal they have yet to achieve there. I've always wanted to go up Half Dome because it is such a stunning piece of rock. You can see it from miles away as you come into the Yosemite. Well, we're going to end up on the top, Alex, cool. on the top there. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah, apparently there's a sheer vertical drop there. The Lawsons have their own goal for their holiday in Las Vegas, to renew their wedding vows. Ah, it's something different, isn't it? It's renewing wedding vows. It's, uh, it's got to be more glamorous than doing it in the Thanet, isn't it? Let's be honest about it. The two families have different reasons for taking part. 
I think it would be really interesting to go with a family that isn't necessarily into the same kind of things that you are and spend a period of time with them and see it through their eyes. A lot of people would look at us and say, well, because you're big, you're, you're unfit or unhealthy. And that's, you know, that's not the case. People wouldn't believe how much exercise we do. I mean, we walk a great deal. Doing this project is a very good idea because it will get rid of any inhibitions and prove to people that bigger people don't necessarily have to be lazy, which I think a lot of people tend to think that they are. You've got to try and gel as a unit or it'll be unbearable, and that is quite a challenge. I enjoy challenges, so bring it on. Both families have been given a kit list by the other family. As they pack, they're still trying to guess what the other holiday might be. Jumpers, T-shirts. Have you got any guesses yet about the other holiday? I think it's somewhere cold. Somewhere cold that can be warm at the same time, mm. which is, um, to my mind, is would that be? that's Adam's thing. Skiing. If they want to dress, then they're stuffed on the fray. I think they're going to go for the opposite concept. It's going to be people who don't normally do outdoorsy things. <laughs> I just hope the other guys haven't got this much luggage. It's the Lawson's holiday first, so they're texting the Harrison Wolves to reveal where they're going. Something like, um... OK, hang on. Vegas... Yeah? ..is just hours away. I'm receiving information. Oh, I'd love to yes. see their reaction. Mm-hmm. Oh! What? Vegas is only hours away. The Lawson's. The Lawson's. That's a very posh surname. The Lawson's get to the airport first to greet the Harrison Wolves when they arrive. Here we go. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry. Hi. Hello. Hello there. Hi. Hi. So yeah, relieved that we've got really two heads. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi, and your name? This is Adam. 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 Hi. So it's just one of hello. you? One. Yeah, just yeah. one. Oh, right. Oh, that makes some space in the car a bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, we've never I've been to yeah. Vegas, so we've ah, Well, Adam and I have only been the once, but Andy's been, I don't know you'll how many times. You'll love it. You'll love it. No, we'll be in your hands. Yeah, you'll love it. Well, don't worry. It'll be different anyway. I never trust people who say trust me. No, he doesn't have his way around. As the families set out on their 11-hour flight to Las Vegas, the holiday seems to be off to a promising start. But this is just the beginning. That's life. That's life. That's what all the people say. You're riding high in April, shot down in May. But I know I'm gonna change that tune. The families are going to be staying in the presidential suite at the Lawson's favourite Vegas hotel, the Orleans. How good is this? That is incredible. Look at the view. This is mine. Excellent. Just a telephone. It's a telephone in the toilet. I do find towing the line and not being in charge, I must admit. I am slightly, possibly, erring on the side of being a bit of a control freak. Um, but I will, you know, I'll be really good. <laughs> oh, I will. I'll be really good. So where do we sleep? Yeah. There are two bedrooms in the suite, and it's up to the Lawsons to allocate them. But Rose is trying to take over already. You'll have to have the other one, because we'll never get... We'll yeah, that's fine. That's not a problem. Just swapped over, because that the other room's bigger. So we'll, so we'll be in here, because there's four of them and three of us, so that's fine. We don't mind, do we? I wanted that one. That no. one's been... It doesn't matter. Coming up, the Harrison Wolves find Las Vegas attractions hard to stomach. Excess is difficult to deal with. It is, yeah. 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 And they get more than they bargained for at the Lawson's renewal of their wedding vows. I thank you for the years of love and joy that we have spent together. That we have spent together. <laughs>
The Vampire Diaries Week starts Monday at 8 on ITV2 and ITV2 HD. You know how it feels when your hay fever symptoms are about to explode. You need a treatment that gets straight to the root of the problem. New Prevalin diffuses pollen before you develop full-blown symptoms. Put pollen out with Prevalin. What my clan can do, I own your heart now by rights, yeah. We got family, we got family. So when I call you up, get Charlie. Almost here, we need to get the garden sorted. <laughs> and who's gonna do all the work? The garden homes. <laughs> get your home ready for summer with a little help from the range. With over 65,000 products for the home and garden in store, there really is something for everyone. Get ready for summer. Make the change. Oh, thank you, love. With a little help from the range. It's all arranged. <laughs> Magic begins the moment you tell them, so why wait? Join us. Now save up to 25% on your holiday, including transport, plus free hotel and tickets for kids under seven. Only if you book by 30th of June. Call 08448 003 003. For great deals on furniture, Argosset. Right now, there's an extra 15% off bedroom furniture on top of hundreds of other offers. And up to 60% off beds, divans and mattresses. Plus, save up to half price on leather and fabric sofas. Saving you £700 on this Carlo leather sofa and chair. Now under £500. Plus, save 25% on all indoor lighting. Hurry, offers end Tuesday. Find it, get it, Argosset. It's important when children are growing up to build strong bones. Petit Filou contains calcium and vitamin D, which help build strong bones. It can get tough out there. Petit Filou, be ready out there. Dull, boring, plain hair? Be daring. Nutrice introduces new ultra color. It nourishes as it colors, so you can dare to try more intense color. Red shimmer, Blondes light up, chestnuts smolder. Daring intense colors with Nutrice Ultra Color. Nourished hair, ultra color. Take care. Garnier. Everyone wants to feel unique. Everyone wants to save money. So here's a great way to buy your beauty products. Choose from hundreds of brands like Elizabeth Arden, L'Oreal Paris, Elemis, and GHD at feelunique.com. With over 12,000 beauty products online, free delivery and many great savings just click to feelunique.com the destination for beauty spring is here and so is the weekend relax and enjoy both with a deliciously prepared meal for two so while the wine chills you can too with a dining for two for 10 pounds only at your M&S It's the first morning together for the Lawsons and Harrison Wolfs on their holiday in Las Vegas. Andy's called a breakfast meeting to announce the day's plans. Welcome to Las Vegas, uh, day one. What I thought we'd do today is uh, head off down the strip and um, check out the uh, Imperial Palace for a little bit of gambling. Uh, while the children go in the arcade, There's an arcade there for the children. Oh, I was going to say, what right. can you do with the kids? Mm -hmm. And what we've got lined up uh, sort of later on is a helicopter ride. Helicopter ride? Excellent. Helicopter. Over yeah. Vegas. Yeah. Going, going, yeah, going yeah. down the street. <laughs> yeah. 
which would be uh, fabulous. Yeah. Everybody. So what do you think of that view? No, oh, fantastic view. <laughs> oh no, the desert is beckoning round. Mm. It is. I'm desperate. The desert know, beckons. I'm, the I'm desert very tempted to just go AWOL and just drive off into the desert. Yeah, it does look enticing. Bright lights, city gonna set my soul. It's 11:30 a.m. What better time to hit the casino? We're going to do a little bit of blackjack. Teach you how to play blackjack. So, um, you guys. The uh, families have a holiday budget based on the Lawson's normal expenditure in Vegas, which works out at $200 a day. High roller Andy normally spends about six hours a day in the casino, gambling up to $1,000. But today he's dealing gently with Rose and Aiden, putting $300 on the table. I'm going to sit next to the expert. All right, okay. <laughs> Rose is clearly more used to giving instructions than receiving them. I don't get any of that. What do you mean he's showing the four? Well, the, you're playing against the dealer. So he's got a hand as well as you. Oh, I didn't understand yeah. that. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, not, it's not so much what you've got, you're trying to make him fun. Oh, there's blackjack and poker and the roulette wheel. A fortune won and lost on every deal. All you need is strong heart and a new steel. Even the croupier spots Rosie's need to be in charge. Oh, oh she's so used to controlling things in her life. Sorry. Las Vegas, you have no control over anything here. When are we going to stop gambling? 19. 19. Take everything. I'm not listening to you again. What, what? Every yeah. time I listen to you, it goes pear-shaped. Oh. Uh, typical of most marriages. I won't say a word. It's, it's, <laughs> I'm not married to this guy. It seems. Uh-oh. It's typical of most friends, then. <laughs> We're not yeah. friends. Yeah. Oh, oh, not, anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Not anymore. I only met him yesterday. Uh -oh. so. <laughs> I find the whole culture very alien. This culture of excess of 24 hours a day, round the clock, eating, drinking, gaming. You don't know whether it's day or night in this place. And that that, that is very... Unsettling in a way. Yeah. Excellent. So does that mean... That After three hours of intensive training, beginner's luck prevails and the parents finish $80 up. So far, so good. Oh, really? It's OK. Yeah, it's OK, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. yeah. yeah. That can't be right. After being confined to a casino for the day, it's time for the families to see the strip from a different angle, from the sky, where they can check out Vegas' 15,000 miles of neon lighting. Rose doesn't know it, but this is the nearest she's going to get to escaping the strip and seeing the desert. That's on the way, sir. You can have a good view of uh, old downtown Las Vegas. Away from the maddening crowd, we can stay in the glow of the star. For supper, the families head to an all-you-can-eat buffet and clear differences between the two mothers are starting to show. Sarah is upset because Rose wants to send the girls to their room alone, which she believes is against hotel policy. I think there might, there might be hotel rules, I'm not sure. Please! Well, you can get to trouble. I found the onion rings! What's the situation with children on their own in the room? Um, what is the situation with children on the right? Because Eleanor wants to go up or not up to the room now on the right. Own. What is the legal standing on that? Are they going to now? Yeah, well, that's I'm what I said. Exactly. No, I was like, you know, you have to. Do you think you'll be able to find it all right? Yeah, yeah. Your room is first. <laughs> um, I feel that Rose likes to be in control um, and finds it very hard not to have that control. Um, I'm not a particularly controlling person, so I'm finding it very hard to be in control and to put my foot down. It's the following morning. Instead of hiking in the desert, the Harrison Wolfs are being led by Andy on a trek round his favourite chocolate factory. Another area, which is where we do uh, some of our dipping and also a demonstration, which I believe Danny's going to take. In a city where fantasy reigns and indulgence is encouraged, Andy's air-conditioned heaven in the heat of the Nevada desert is one of Vegas's biggest attractions. Now you watch him go under this curtain right here. We run the white chocolate. Adam is hoping it'll sweeten the atmosphere between them. I think 
people are a lot happier today. A lot happier. And well, it's, been, it, it's going really well today. It's great. It's a free layer. At the end of the tour, the families are invited to help themselves to as much chocolate as they want. How could any child resist? I'm serious. Anything you see in the store. Oh my God. Oh. This is heaven. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Thank you. The girls can't believe it. They've been quite restrained, actually. Ooh. It's the same as the all you can eat buffets, yeah, really. You, just you, you feel, don't want to pile it on. Yeah, you, know, it's you just, just feel greedy. Yeah, it's, it's excess is difficult to deal with. It I is, yeah. 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 It makes you feel kind of a bit sluggish and so on if yeah. you eat too much. All this free chocolate. Gambling and chocolate, I mean, what else is there? Yeah, it's great. The week passes in a whirlwind of high-calorie, low-activity entertainment set against make-believe backdrops. It's an urban eye-opener for the Harrison Wolfs. Hot town, summer in the city, back of my neck, getting dirty and gritty. Them down, isn't it a pity? Doesn't seem to be a shadow in the city. It's all around people looking half-dead, walking on the sun, under the mansion. It's a different world, go out and find a girl. Come on, come on and dance all night. It's the last day, and Vegas is beginning to take its toll on Rose. When we went to the forum yesterday, the forum shops, I was, and there was that full sky. I was thinking of the the Truman Show, where uh, the guy feels really penned in and he wants to escape his false world and sails off and breaks through the horizon. And I thought, yeah, I know how that feels. I should imagine their sort of holiday involves a lot of, uh, what can I say, uh, exertion, uh, activity as opposed to inactivity. Um, but they're all natural, natural stuff as opposed to the man-made. I'm going to enjoy my last day of luxury, um, showering in wet rooms, clean fluffy towels, um, room service and all that, but I'm quite glad to get the hell out of here, to be honest. I'm just pouring it all over my hand. But Rose isn't going anywhere yet. Andy and Sarah are about to hit the Harrison Walls with their big announcement. Take... Shall we um, let the cat out of the bag? I think it you'd work? better. You've been whining okay. mm. about yeah. it all week. Well, no, no, what, what, we're, what we're going to do is... Um, we're going to renew our wedding vows today. Oh, fantastic! Um, so um, I'm the best man. Yeah, I, I, yeah. He's, Adam's going to be the best man. I'd like you to be our witnesses, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah we'd great. Love to, yeah. We'd be delighted. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, oh no! Yeah. Does that mean I've got to wear a? Oh no! Well, <laughs> oh, you're <laughs> dress. Dress. Oh. It's not just a dress Sarah wants Rose to wear. It's fancy dress for everyone. And Sarah has one last surprise for tomboy Rose. Well, we're going to go down to the, the salon yeah. and have our makeup done. Great. She's hoping some time alone so with what? Rose might help to bring them closer. So, what have you enjoyed, Rose, about our holiday? Oh, and what have you oh. hated? <laughs> oh, the helicopter ride was really good. Um, enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to stop. I would have kept flying right the way to the Grand Canyon. But no, <laughs> I, I did enjoy the helicopter ride. What See, I like yeah. about Vegas is everything's air conditioned, so that you don't have you don't have need to have to go out if you don't want to. I mean, you can just stay in the hotel. Everything's been provided. That's what I hate. <laughs> I've got to get out. That's well, the thing. Yeah. You're standing at the hotel window. You're looking out. You can see the desert and the rocks all around. Don't you? You don't feel the burning need to get out. Not really. They've got the witnesses. They've got the costumes. They've even got the makeup. There's only one thing left to do, time to hit the strip.
This is a memorable day. It's a day of happiness. As you look back and remember when you first met and when you fell in love and you became husband and wife. I once again. I once again. Want to tell you. Want to tell you. How much I love you. How much I love you. I need you. I need you. I want you. I want you. And I cannot live without you. And I cannot live without you. I promise you again. I promise you again. I will always love and honor you. I will always love and honor you. I will respect you and keep you. I will respect you and keep you. I will never leave you. I will never leave you. I thank you for being my husband. I thank you for being my husband. I thank you for the years of love and joy. I thank you for the years of love and joy. That we have spent together. That we have spent together. I promise. I promise. My continued love to you. My continued love to you. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. You're my best friend. You're my best friend. You're my husband. You're my husband. And I love you. And I love you. I ask, Father, that you bless them that you surround them with angels and bless this family forever. We ask in thy holy name, amen. 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 And I once again pronounce you husband and wife again as you have renewed your vows to each other. You may now kiss your beautiful bride. Mm -hmm. I've slipped into another dimension. I really do. <laughs> it was like some kind of distorted kid's enactment of a wedding. And I just, at one point, I just wanted to burst out giggling. And I thought, no, I mustn't, I mustn't. So I kept myself very together, I thought. You felt you had to take it seriously because God was mentioned and people were blubbing. And I thought, I've got to be really serious and mature and grown up about this because it's not about what I want and whether it's a good idea or whether I'd like to do it. It's about these people. It's something really, really important to them. And I realised that. So hopefully I was a good witness. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. I think we should really have a toast to... Uh... To Sarah and Andy, mm. and uh, yeah. thank them for yeah. their um, the time they spent with us in Vegas, showing us how yeah. to gamble, how to lose money, and today, yeah. uh, today was a real experience, a real Vegas yeah. experience. Vegas I think. experience. That's yeah. what we were hoping. Yeah. You know. Like nothing else, I think mm. I've ever been part of. So um, here's yeah. great sport. Good. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. We really have. You. Thank you very right. much indeed, all of you. To another 11 years for yeah. Cheers. Andy yeah, and Sarah. Congratulations. Yeah. I mean, we're definitely looking forward to finding out our destination. Yeah. Good. As long as you don't get us back for what we've made you have to go through. You'll love it. Good. Trust me. Next, the Lawsons get their first taste of holidays, Harrison Wolf style. Never doing this again, I'll tell you. And Adam starts to cut loose. I think I might do that mountain biking. It guaranteed that I'm not going another study. What? A damage slow decision. For everyone who wants their messages now, or just to be sure theirs was read. For all those who want to be spontaneous, but bring everyone along for the ride. And for those who want their personal details to remain personal, we have a Blackberry for you. I like old movies like The Godfather Three It's not considered the best one But that's just me That's just me At Match, it's free to come and have a look around Start your love story at Match.com Now in the mornings, there's one must-have we women can have Special K chocolate and strawberry at only 3% fat. 
Because a woman's love of chocolate isn't a weakness, it's a sign of great taste. Special K chocolate and strawberry get more delicious every day. If you like the whole party, friends, fun thing, then you'll love our colourful, stylish, vibrant thing. If you like the chilled out, laid back, luxurious thing, you'll love our relaxing recliner thing. And if you like the half price, 50% off thing, then you'll love the Elan collection at DFS. There's four years interest free credit with nothing to pay until 2012. The half price Elan collection this back holiday weekend. It's a DFS thing. To see more of our sofas, visit dfs.co.uk. Because Volvic comes straight from the volcano, every drop has a spark of volcanicity. Why not try Volvic with a delicious touch of fruit flavor? Volvic touch of fruit. Taste the fruity volcanicity. Hello, sun. Invisible protection from Nivea Sun. Our first non-greasy, 100% invisible spray. So all that's visible is attractive summer skin. Invisible protection from Nivea. A hundred years of feeling closer. Time for a new mobile. Want some money for your old one? Envirophone.com will swap your mobile phones for cash. Dosh. Wonga. One, go to Envirophone.com. Two, pop your old mobile into a free post envelope. Three, get paid directly into your bank account. Anything up to £150. Even if your phone is damaged or not working. Find out what you can get for your mobile phone at Envirophone.com. Wonga! This is Mantis Scratch Remover from JML. It quickly and easily helps to improve the appearance of scratches and scuffs on your car. Just apply a small amount to any colour of paintwork to see the results. Ugly scratches on the paint of cars over time are inevitable. Now, improving the look of your car or motorcycle has never been easier. Plus, it works wonders on alloys, chrome and bumpers too. Get your Mantis Scratch Remover for just $9.99 at Asda, Focus, Wilkinson and Homebase. This bank holiday weekend, get up to three years interest-free on a beautiful new Sharps bedroom. For your nearest showroom or a free home design visit, call or go online. Every day's a new adventure. Gonna go and have a quick discussion, I'll be back. Hey, babe. What am I drawing here, this? Rubbish. What? <laughs> days of his life. It's been an amazing day. Peter Andre, the next chapter, returns Thursday the 9th of June, ITV2 and ITV2 HD. We're there. We're there. And we've got to drive all the way up here. The Harrison Wolfs have spent a week living by the Lawson's rules on their holiday in Las Vegas. Now the tables are turning as they take control. But first, they have to reveal their destination. Mono Lake. Mono Lake. And then across into, you guessed it, the Yosemite. Yosemite National Park. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wicked. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's pretty. There, there is running water, there is electricity, but there is no casinos. And then I saw her face. What the Lawsons don't realise is that when they get there, they'll be doing a two-day hike, ending with a climb up Half Dome, Yosemite's most prominent landmark. Ten hours later, the families arrive at Curry Village in the middle of Yosemite. Your family's looking at that one. Where are we? You're in the... Their accommodation is a static tent cabin with communal bathrooms. I can't think the word is Spartan. I think it's already worried. I think when we got quite... here, they were like, they seem quite uncomfortable. Where are we? What is this place? Yeah. I don't think they happy. know they didn't really want to get out of the car. Cities. I'm really worried about it. I hope they'll be all right. The Lawson's initial enthusiasm seems to be evaporating. This is quite a change from uh, a penthouse suite of the Orleans, isn't it? Let's be honest. This is pants, isn't it? 
But unlike his parents, Adam, who loves action heroes, is not going to be put off that easily. I like it here. It's really cool. You're going to have to try and help yeah. Mummy and Daddy because we're, we're having, we're having kittens here at the moment. <laughs> I think I think there's going to be loads and loads of walking, and that and that'll be good. That'll be fun. Um, yeah, I think it's, uh, I, I'm up to anything. It's cool here then. Yeah. Great. It's cool. It's 5:30 a.m. and Andy's trying to make light of the situation. I must have got an upgrade because I've got a broom. <laughs> With a two day hike ahead of them, the Harrison Wolfs are aware of how much preparation is needed, but first they need to give the Lawsons their kit. Distress signal. Aren't they cool? Like in your colour? Bivy bag. Ah, bivy bag. While Aidan helps the Lawsons, Rose's patience is already wearing thin. You know, it's not normally this disorganised, but you've, what we've got is uh, three extra people who know nothing about kit, camping, um, packing rucksacks. I mean, why should they? I think they'll quite enjoy today, and that's my hope, that really they'll be so kind of buoyed up by the scenery and the experience of walking in relative wilderness that they'll be sort of keyed up for tomorrow which is the more worrying day, if you like, because tomorrow is when we hope to go up Half Dome. I'd particularly like to get Adam up, actually, because he's shown a great deal of interest. Aidan's been very patiently explaining all the kit to him and everything. My worry is that if his mum doesn't want to go, he's very close to his mum and he's very protective of his mum, and I'm worried that if she sort of has the heebie-jeebies, it'll inhibit him going up. We feel a lot happier because um, the, the HWs, or the Harrison, Wolves have actually sort of like given us a lot of reassurance. Vegas just feels like there's another in another world, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So what are we doing about um, breakfast this morning? Uh, well, we were just going to grab a few Janola bars or something in the bus. Janola bar. On the way, yeah. Mm. You know, muesli bar type things. Mm, yeah, muesli bar. Not what I'm thinking of. Maybe thinking trail. of uh, American yeah. style breakfast. Right, right. Well, uh, there's a, um, there's a buffet over there. Right? Buffet just, is good. Just well, yeah. The Harrison Wolf's holiday budget is $300 a day, and Andy wants to spend it. Really, really quickly, no problem. Half an hour, you know, no problem. We've we got to go. Go for it. Alex and Eleanor like Andy's idea of breakfast too. No, we haven't got time. You've got to, you got to help get sorted. The two families are about to begin the hike, and it's already leading to tension between Sarah and Adam. So we're starting off walking on a trail called the Panoramic Trail. Then we go on a little bit further up the valley, uh, where we find a ra ranger station, and we spend the night camping in the woods by the ranger station. Tomorrow morning, uh, we've got an option. We can go all the way to the top of Half Dome, which is this big piece of rock in front of you here. Now, it looks pretty dramatic, but the path goes up behind it and takes a nice route coming towards us on the other side, which isn't steep. I hope you appreciate that this is going to be quite hard for us because mm -hmm. not only are we, we've never done anything like this before. I'm looking forward to it. But the fact that we are both, well, we're all bigger people mm. and we're carrying extra know, weight. Well, we're carrying down. extra weight mm. anyway and it's going to be very, it's going to be quite hard okay. for us. But Adam seems yeah. really keen. Yeah, yeah. come on, you, get going. Are you going to get to the top of that? Yes. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> the Harrison Wolves lead off. There's a park ranger with them to ensure that no one comes to any harm. 99% of Yosemite is wilderness and is populated by wild bears. They have five and a half miles of gentle downhill trekking ahead of them, which the Lawsons, as regular walkers, should find easy. But less than 20 minutes into their two-day hike, Sarah's already unhappy. I mean, when we said we like walking, we like walking sort of like along the seafront or up to the park and not, not hiking and doing sort of like miles and miles. Mm. It's not really our sort of thing, I'm afraid, especially with where there's... Shut up a minute, will you please? Mm. So, sort of, you know, with mountains and things, it's just not my sort of thing. And Could you not want to do it? I don't think I can. No, Sarah doesn't think she's up to it. No? No. So what happens now? Do we have the option, uh, if we go back up, it'd be quicker, wouldn't it, go back to the, the uh, where we're staying? Is it, how long, how often those buses go? I don't know. Tell you what, give, go. give me the pack for a while, 
You can't carry it as well. Yeah. Give me the pack for a while and see how it feels, okay? Okay. What you can do, because it's too bad, it's on like this. Then we get the Batsy pack jump. And we give it a go like this for a while. You can't see where you're going then. No, I can see where I'm going. Because I, because I can see where I'm going. Oh, thanks, Evan. But it's not too, I mean, I've got cooking gear and all sorts in mine. Yours isn't too bad. Oh, that's bad. Thank you. Rose, who is a scout leader, is doing her best to keep morale up. Go on, I'll round up. I'll play sheepdog, I'm used to that. I'm doing my bit of pastoral care. We're doing it in 20 minute stints. I'm doing 20 minutes, Peyton's doing 20 minutes. Adam has broken rank and left his parents lagging behind while he forges on ahead with the Harrison Wolves. Adam really seems to be enjoying yourself, doesn't he? Even though he was getting really tired down that hill and sweaty, I, I did ask him if he was enjoying it, and he said he was, being with other kids. Yeah. It's three o'clock. They still have three and a half miles to go, and it's crucial they get to the campsite by nightfall. So the Harrison Wolves decide to march on ahead to set up camp. Mom, do you think we should stop away? No. I can't do this. It's so hot. Before leaving home, Sarah was keen to prove that the Lawsons could take on any physical challenge they were set. But now her determination is waning. Never doing this again, I'll tell you. Never again. Adam has hung back with the ranger to wait for his parents. I know. I know. I know. Although Sarah thinks he's had enough, he's far from giving up yet. Well, we won't be doing anything else now. We've, 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 we've surrendered. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, we're just, we've said we're not... Okay. Uh, we're not well, okay. no, not doing any more, any more hard activity. We just can't... Daddy and I can't do it. Are we camping tonight? Yeah, but, I mean... We could get things to go. We're going to have to talk to... Talk, Couldn't we get things to go? Well... Please? You're, you, I don't know. We'll have to see. Because I'm, I'm not wanting like, you know, to do anything. Crazy, I'm crazy for feeling so lonely. On oh, no, when we get home, right, I want <clears throat> to go to New Dumbo and get a takeaway. I want a nice Chinese when we get home. Yeah, sounds That's good. I'm looking forward to. It's six o'clock and still no sign of the Lawsons. The Harrison Wolves are at the campsite cooking dinner. All food has to be cooked, eaten and cleared up by nightfall to keep the bears away, and time is running out. Far from the Chinese takeaway they long for, tonight the Lawsons will be feasting on pasta, boiled on a camping stove. I feel that they had a sort of picturesque view of camping and that you'd sit out under the stars. I don't think they really understood what it's about. They've made themselves as uncomfortable and miserable as they can bear and we all have different endurance levels, tolerance levels, pain limits. So, is this better than the buffet at the Vegas? Far, far better. Finally, just after eight o'clock, the Lawsons make it to the campsite as darkness is falling, just in the nick of time. This is it. Of course we have. We were going to eat it. All right, mate. You all right? These no, we're knackered. Not. We're knackered. <laughs> but you're alive. Yeah, yeah. I've got the mask. You've got everybody. Uh -huh. Realising that the Lawsons don't want to go on, the Harrison Wolves have already come up with a plan to continue without them. What we're planning on doing is breaking camp quite early, if that's OK, so we can dash yeah, up half well, over. And yeah. then we, what we thought, hoped was that you would get up a um, sort of similar time or when you're ready and gradually mosey on down. It's only it's all downhill. Mm. I can literally cannot lift my leg to walk. I'll do whatever you want to do, that's fine. It's 6am on the second day of the hike and the Harrison Wolves are keen to get going on their ascent of Half Dome. Meanwhile, the Lawsons are on the brink of mutiny. You did really well to get yeah. this far. I mean, it was a long, hard day for you guys, and 
I think you did really, really well to get here. Look, it's only just up there. You got, you know, you got close. You yeah. did. Yeah. Mm. yeah it hasn't really put you off forever, has it? I, well, put, put, what, what, doing? Yeah, this oh, kind of stuff? Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Absolute nightmare, yeah, I'm afraid so, yeah. And we'll, we'll say this now, we'll, we'll, we won't be doing any other activities this holiday. Yeah, we're, we're just we just We're just so, so tired, we're just absolutely knackered. So, um, Well, at least you can come with us and see the locations. The Harrison Wolf set off on the three-and-a-half-mile hike to the top of Half Dome leaving the Lawsons to work out how to pack up their kit. I'm going to pull the middle thing. <laughs> Get him here, you... We need a bit of help here. Um, and Andrew? Ah! We need some help. A bit of help. Yeah. In a mountain greenery where while the Harrison Wolfs are busy rushing up Half Dome, Adam finds time to appreciate the wildlife he encounters. While you love your lover, let blue skies be your cover. Let when it rains, we laugh at the weather. And if you're good. Adam's enjoying himself, but he's upset that his parents don't want to join in anymore. He's up for anything, especially one activity he knows is coming up. I want to do that mountain biking, I think. Well, I'm sorry, Adam, but I, but I, I don't really want you to, to be honest. Not without one of us with you. I feel as if we're giving up. I think we're entitled to give up. <laughs> Ten miles in two days. I just don't like giving up. I mean, you were complaining, you know, a little while ago that you were tired and you didn't yeah, want to... I, I mean, do, you, but you... I still want... I think I might do that mountain biking. Yeah, you're almost guaranteed that I'm not going and neither's Daddy. What? But Dad makes his own decision. Things could get no keener reception In a beanery bless our mountain greenery Come on. Yes, that's it, the cairn. Ten miles in two days, it's just ridiculous, isn't it, Andy? <laughs> How you go, Alex? Yay! Is there room for all of us up here? Perhaps you'd uh, like me to carry your pack. <laughs> Jeez, there is a big drop. Isn't that nice, Andy? Shall we have a bite, just a nibble here, or do you want to no. stop, mosey on? Do you think we should mosey on down? I think we should mosey on, yeah. Yeah, we've we only got go. eight and a half miles to go. Yeah. We've, we've done it. We've yeah. done it. Come on. A car! <laughs> Civilization. It's 7pm, and ten hours after they set out, the Lawsons make the four miles back to Curry Village. It's a day of achievements all round, both for the Harrison Wolfs, who have climbed Half Dome, and for the Lawsons, who've managed to walk 10 miles in two days. To half to half dome. dome. Another one done. <sighs> First one for two days. Fantastic. I know a lot of people who just couldn't have done that, you know? Which is nice, you know. I've done it. I've done the 10 miles. I've done the hiking up the mountains and down the mountains and up the mountains and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And I slept on the floor with beetles and snakes and bears, squirrels, raccoons. Maybe they did get something out of it. They pushed themselves to their limit, that, that's for sure, uh, and, and felt what it's like to be discomforted. When I came back to all this, I suppose, luxury, and you don't think it's luxury, but it is. It is luxury, just to have running water, um, flush toilet and electricity. It's just phew, amazing. It's their last day, and Aidan calls a breakfast meeting to announce the next bout of activities. Andy and Sarah are still on strike, but Adam has different ideas. Today, we're going to drive across to Mammoth Mountain. 
so we're going to mountain bike. Mm -hmm. I, I know that I won't be able to do it because I can't even lift my leg high enough to get over a saddle. It's Dad, difficulty. Can you go and go? No, we can't, darling. No, I'm not. Coming up, the biking battle continues. We won't do anything difficult if he comes. And the families tell it how it is at their last supper. Well, I must admit, you tend to be someone who doesn't pretend like to show affection in that way. We are in the most inaccessible part of the Ecuadorian rainforest. No man has ever... Sorry, guys. Do you know where I can find more cocoa beans? Magnum found some of the finest cocoa beans, so you don't have to. With cocoa beans from Ecuador, chocolate sauce and vanilla ice cream. New Magnum Ecuador for pleasure seekers. Choo, choo, choo. Make savings with the train line. Choo, choo, choo. Savings every day. Do, do, do. Come on and join the train line. Choo, choo, choo. Savings all the way. Was that a bit much? That was the best ad we've ever made for the trainline.com. Well, people will definitely remember where to go to get their savings now, won't they? All of the... Let's go for a close-up on the ticket now! How Cinderella got to the ball fast. Her wicked stepsisters made her stay behind to clean their filthy house. Bye. Little did they know, Cinderella had a bottle of Sif Actifiz. Sif's powerful formula fizzes on contact, lifting the daily dirt and stains fast. So thanks to Actifiz, Cinderella quickly got to the ball after all. Sif Actifiz, always a beautiful ending, fast. I like old movies, like The Godfather, three, it's not considered the best one, but that's just me, that's just me. At Match, it's free to come and have a look around. Start your love story at Match.com. At Comet, this 50-inch plasma TV is now only 5 dollars and this compact laptop is only 329. And get this hot point washer for only 329. Come and play at Comet. At Harvey's, pay no VAT on everything in our VAT-free collection. Offer ends holiday Monday, 8 p.m. Harvey's the furniture store, bringing your home to life. Want a natural-looking tan without that self-tan smell? Sublime Bronze Express Pro from L'Oreal. Our first self-tan inspired by professional techniques. An extra-wide diffuser for a natural-looking golden tan. Quickly dries without that self-tan smell. Summer starts here. Sublime Bronze Express Pro from L'Oreal Paris. Peggy 12. We love, we hate, we To help your family stay healthy, all this delicious fruit and veg is now half price at Tesco. So why not pick up some finer stick squeezer potatoes for dinner, some crunchy iceberg lettuce for a summer salad, and even these beautiful berries and cherries for a picnic treat. Perfect, your favourite fruit and veg, chopped in half. And don't forget you can check the price of your shopping online at Tesco Price Check. Every little helps. I think it's happened again. Where are we? Hold. Hold it! Ah! What is going on? The Hangover Part 2. Wednesday on Daybreak, actress Saran Jones talks about her latest role. Hello, DC Bailey, Major Incident Team. She takes on the mean streets of Manchester in the new ITV1 detective drama series... You ready, mate? Scott and Bailey. Yeah. Join Saran Jones Wednesday on Daybreak. It's time for mountain biking on the last day of the Harrison Wolf's action-packed holiday. But Sarah and Andy 
don't want Adam to risk it. We won't allow Adam to go up there on, our, on his own without one of us. Even so, with us, if we promise to take yeah, good care of him. We won't do anything difficult if he comes. It'll be easy, easy peasy. Well, I don't even know whether he'll be able to, he'll be able to, uh, to go. Well, that's a compromise. Line. OK, if you want to go, you can go with the... With the with OK, the you can go, but... Only if you can, if you feel comfortable so what on the, the bike. What are the trails like? We, what we'll do is we'll go up. We'll choose the easiest trail yeah. down. Yeah. As you promise faithfully to look after we'll look yeah. after please. Them. Yeah, we won't leave them alone. We'll stick them in. We'll put Dad and someone at the back. Right. As they head up to the 11,000-foot summit, Adam's nerves are beginning to show. He's never been so high before. I bet your friends at school will think this is really cool, aren't they? Yeah. Well, this is the way to do it. Yeah. And focus on what you're doing. Concentrate on what you're doing. Don't worry about, I don't know, having an ache here or whatever. Just concentrate on what you're doing. Off you go. Sugar. Damn. With a 2,000-foot descent to cover, Adam's getting a little help from his friends. And remember, Adam, you can just shout stop if you want. Yeah. You can go. I'm and... scared of wobbling off there. When we got back last night, he was complaining how sore he was because he, he was yeah. wearing wet shorts yeah. and he'd end up really sore between his legs. And I was just concerned that it, by, riding a bike would make it ten times worse. I bet he'll change his mind when he gets up there, though. A true action hero, Adam makes it down the trail in under an hour and a half. Yes! Woo! Hello, sweetheart. Did you have a good time? Hello. Hi. 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 Did you have a good time? Hey, Dad. How did you go? Yeah, it's excellent. Yeah? Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Excellent. Um, did he need a bit of encouragement or did he go no, straight up? No, he didn't need any encouragement. No. Oh, so I fell off twice once. I, twice. I, didn't, I didn't do a thing, but. Take your time. Aiden said I was a natural, but um, I, went, I did lots and lots of skids. I, I had two falls. First one didn't do a thing. Second one. <laughs> I'm feeling really, really, really pleased with myself, uh, and I've really enjoyed it as well. I'm glad I went up. It's later the same day, and Adam is on a roll. Nothing's going to stop him now. Not even the climbing wall. The Harrison Wolves are amazed. He climbs over 30 feet all the way to the top. Well done. It's the final night of the holiday, and the families are having their last supper together to discuss their experiences. What about you girls? What do you think the worst bit was for you? Probably dressing up. Was it? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm. Looking back now, I wish you'd sort of said so. No, no, you know, no, because some no, of the point no, no. of it was to go to do it. it. Yeah, after that, I felt very, yeah, very so uncomfortable. Yeah. But I'll tell you something, Aidan, you look really good in that <laughs> suit, <laughs> didn't you? Yeah, I I think think you when you start comparing things like that, it's a mental uncomfortable. Mm. Yeah. As, as yes, opposed to what right. we yes. went through, which was a physical very thing. Physical. You know, and the mental uncomfortable. Oh, well, yeah, but about, yeah, both, yeah. I mean, I'm 42 years old, and those are the two worst days of my life. I can't believe that was the worst two days of my life. I don't think you can't get your head around that, how no, uncomfortable that was. You're a bit of a worrier, aren't you, Adam? Oh. You worry about your mum and dad. Well, that's I don't care about you, isn't it? Dad. <laughs> good. You worry about me when I get upset, and I worry about him. And you don't think you can worry too much? No, not. Mm. I, I don't think not so. Not at all. No. You get worried about oh, well, me. I must admit, you tend to be someone who doesn't, who doesn't like to show affection in that way. <laughs> I think well, that's no. what do you think you That's what you come across as, you know. Is that true? No, you're always trying to yeah. smother us. <laughs> what about you, Adam? Do you wish that you'd never done it? I don't wish that I'd never done it because mm. I don't like giving up, really. And um, I don't remember the pain. Mm. No, I just. Yeah. Well, I remember walking, I don't remember... <laughs> I remember the your, pain. your pain. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember the pain. I don't remember actually the feeling the pain. I just remember walking. I remember so seeing myself going, walking. Ha, mm -hmm. ooh, yeah. But I, I don't but remember. I, yeah, yeah, Adam, yeah. to focus Adam, I, on them. I don't good, remember but, yeah. the pain. That's a good thing, Adam. I, My impression is that, that, that there's one person around this table who is more split than the rest of us, perhaps. Yes. And that's Adam. Yeah. And I know you really like Vegas, don't you? 
Yeah, and you really liked all of that. But I also know that you really liked the mountain biking. And the climbing. And the climbing. Technically, then, yeah. our holiday was the better holiday. Because we've converted, yeah. half converted one family member, and you <laughs> haven't converted anybody. <laughs> I feel very proud of, uh, of us that people back home will see us, you know, people who know us or people who don't know us will see a big family, you know, who are, and think, well, they're never going to be able to do that. Well, we proved them wrong. Adam isn't a bad kid, to be honest. I think he needs more adventure, more pushing, less molly cuddling and protective, protection and needs to go on a diet. Um, I shouldn't, that's a terribly non-PC thing to say, I know, but... I think it would enhance his lifestyle, his self-esteem, um, his life opportunities. From this holiday, I think um, uh, I'm not taking uh, uh, something with me, but I think I've left behind something, <laughs> a few pounds. <laughs> and I think I've found a new hobby, mountain biking. I wish today would be I hadn't really realised, until looking back on it, how unhappy I was in Vegas. I felt really kind of contained, really confined, like a performing seal, really. I didn't enjoy being in Vegas at all. When we had our, our last supper, as it were, um, you, you, um, you believed that you had... You, had brought, uh, you brought me over to uh, the dark side, your side, and... Um, that is, that, that is not true. I mean, I just enjoyed one thing. You know, I'd like to see Adam encouraged uh, to do more of the outdoorsy stuff. And uh, it'd be great to yeah. hear that he was continuing with it and enjoying it. That's not